We thank you for joining us. President Muhammadu Buhari Chiefs Day in Daura at an emotional reunion with his primary and secondary school classmates coming to pay homage to him to mark the Salah celebrations. The president inquired about each individual's well-being, their health and well-being of their family members. Correspondent Nabuchi Okil Nabuchi sent in this report. It was another day in Daura as the president continued to receive visitors and facilitators who thronged his home in Daura to join him in the commemoration of this year's Salah celebration. First to see the president were his schoolmates who came as usual to celebrate with him. The elated schoolmates exchanged pleasantries and shared experiences of the good old school days. They prayed for the repose of those that died between last year when they last met and this year why the president expressed joy and happiness for the meeting, saying he got the same feeling that he used to have when they were young. While they chatted and talked about the school days and shared a lot of memories, the president thanked them for their respect and feeling for him, which they have retained all the time. The leader of the class association, Senator Haba Hali, who spoke after the meeting, commended the sacrifices the president has been making and urged him to maintain focus on the nation, which he said was more important than all else. I can say that uh, in the history of Nigerian politics, there wasn't a government that have shown interest in the development of ordinary people with so many uh, palliatives, so many uh, money, market, this and that, and you know, caring for the ordinary person, knowing very well that uh, this country we are developing, not a developed one, so we have a lot of problems socially and humanitarianly. So there was no government that has tried like his own government. I'm proud to say it. So we wish him all the best. What we are hoping is that uh, the next coming government will, or we hope, they will build up on, what, on the foundation he laid down, which if that continues, I think this country, uh, with all the problems we are facing, for example, security-wise, we are not being uh, kind to the government. The president also met with the former governor of Borno State, Senator Ali Moudi Sharif, who also visited to felicitate with the president on the Salah celebration. He told journalists that there is no competing among APC members in the state, just as he gave his blessings for the selection of his FTY Commissioner Shatima as the vice presidential candidate of his party, APC. Modi Sharif, however, expressed optimism that APC will win the 2023 general election. Well, you see, the, most of the practice, politic, uh, practicing politicians today uh, from one family. So why would be the rivalry for what? I just told you that uh, uh, Kashim uh, Shatima, who is the running mate of Tinibu today, was my commissioner. I brought him up. So I'm, I will be very happy today if all the products that I brought are going to even occupy uh, Asorok as number one, not number two citizen. So there shouldn't be any rivalry because uh, it's one family. We are all working together and that's, that's nothing to compete about. Nothing. Uh, someone that is your own will always be yours. Somebody that uh, uh, you can born your child today and he will be a president. Does it make him not to be a son? Recall that the president had hosted the APC national leader and presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Chinobu and APC governors while still in the Salamud.